Why, hello there. We are here on the corner of South Southern Street and Hardy Avenue. I think it's Avenue. And we are here to experience a most excellent adventure. This is gonna be a good one. It's time to do some filming locations for Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Excellent movie. That's all, that's all you gotta say. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Party on, dudes. Our first stop here, Phoenix, Arizona. The movie filmed in Phoenix takes place in San Dimas, California. God, how weird is that? A movie taking place in California, but it's it's not filmed in California. Everything's filmed in California. Why, why, why did they not film in California? They filmed in Phoenix, San Dimas, California. We're gonna pretend it's San Dimas again, 30, Years later, over 30 years later, but our first stop right here on the corner, if we just walk down this sidewalk a little bit, and we're gonna make a right-hand turn into the parking lot, we will find ourselves at this Circle K. 1010 is the address number. Pan to the right, and this is where our journey will start. This is where the wild stallions meet up with Rufus for the first time. Excuse me, when did the Mongols rule China? Right here, this is the spot. The phone booth, yes, that's right, phone booth from the future. Comes down, Rufus hops out, right here. You see little, little differences, but all the curbing and everything, other than paint job, pretty similar. Ice machines are different. Darn. You're ready to get this adventure going because strange things are afoot at the Circle K. Let's go. Our next stop brings us to the Temp Village Lanes. It's the bowling alley where Napoleon, Napoleon is trying to have some fun. Unfortunately, in this location, it doesn't really work out for him. He gets kicked out. The, the bowling alley manager kicks Napoleon out of his business if only he knew the building itself construction wise is very similar very very similar the architecture has stayed the same I don't want to see you around here anymore beat it buddy unfortunately it is a Saturday morning and it is closed hours of operation so we can't get inside because it's blacked out you can't see anything completely blacked out poor Napoleon was only trying to have a little bit of fun come on man Totally not cool, dude. Hey, dude. Whoa. Who are you? 
I'm you from the future. No way. If you're me from the future, what number am I thinking of? 69, dude! Whoa! Hey, if it's okay, I'm gonna hijack this video. Oh, okay. Just for a few moments, okay? Yeah, go ahead. Take the video. Excellent. Let's go! Down. And in a series of very strange but excellent events, future Randy here, we find ourselves next to West Hampton Avenue, Splash World. We are just Splash World. Napoleon is gonna have some fun. Now it's dark and it's closed, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to actually see anything on this end at least. There, there is a surprise that I know we'll be able to see. This ticket booth right here, it's, it's difficult to see in the dark, but it looks like that's the same ticket booth, the same entrance booth. There's a turnstile right over here as well. Got a turnstile right there. Huh. They got it pretty much blocked off to where you really can't see anything. At least in the dark, but look, there's a slide up there. There's a slide up there. That's kind of a bus that way. But there's one distinct thing that can be seen in a background shot. Napoleon's going down the water slide. It's not even really a background shot, I guess, because it's kind of like a POV of going down the slide. But Napoleon, looking out of the slide, can see. Right here we have a castle. This castle can be seen from the water slide. Golf land and sun splash. Now I walked the wrong way because the slides are actually right there. This is the side of the building here. Napoleon would have been coming down the slides and you can see the front of it. But the slides are right there. You can kind of see them over the wall. Before recording them over the wall, we're gonna see if we can get a little bit closer. There's people miniature golfing inside, so maybe we can, maybe we can get inside. All right, a little bit of a squirrel moment because there's a lot going on in here, but Jurassic Park, I see Jurassic Park. And this was such a ridiculously good success. I didn't expect this at all. This is all accidental. Right here, Napoleon, we can see him going down these slides. The colors have changed a bit, but this is Napoleon coming down the slides. We don't have quite the same view as if we were on the water slide, but there's our castle. For the low, low general admission price of $39.70, you too can be like Napoleon and go down these slides. This was an excellent success. Where'd I park my phone booth? Like, seriously, I need my phone booth. Where is it? I need to get back to earlier today. Oh, I think it's right there. Now we're a few miles from the Circle K we were just at, down the road a little bit. Behind me is the location of where East High School was. It was demolished, it's no longer there. This is where the interior shots were filmed. <sighs> Quite funny enough, the interior shots we're, we're gonna be able to see just as much now as, as if the building was actually there. So, not a big loss. Now our exterior shots were here at the Coronado High School in Scottsdale. Not, not too far, a little, little ways from the, the location we were just standing at. Now I do believe that this school has gone over some, some large renovations, but we're gonna take a quick walk around and, and see if anything matches up. This is a rather large school. I'm walking around, a lot of stuff is fenced off, but we're trying, we're trying here. The roof is, is recognizable, that weird 
Up, down, up, down, up, down. Wrong spot, though. Darn. It's kind of funny. They have locking instructions here. Like, hey, you got to lock it like this. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Well, this one, unfortunately, was kind of a bust. This is a big campus. This is a big facility. We walked all the way around. We walked in a little bit. We could get in there a little bit, that one spot. Other than the roof, can't really see anything. Not too much recognizable. I'm thinking, because there's, there's multiple buildings, I'm thinking it's in the center, which we cannot get to. Darn! And this, this right here is a pleasant surprise. This mural right here next to the Performing Arts Center. I believe that this is the same mural that can actually be seen behind Bill and Ted. I think they just moved it. Look, right there. One last ditch effort. We're gonna try. Fly, HKP. Fly. Great success! For the flight, at least. We pretty much just confirmed what we thought as far as the building is very different. Very different. And our final stop brings us to East Barrage Lane, 1841 to be exact. This is the location of the dwelling, the home, the homestead of Ted Theodore Logan. Right over here. The only thing that really looks similar is, is that patterned diamond looking like lattice work on the windows there and separating the little patio. This is it. That was our Bill and Ted excellent adventure. It was fun. We saw some stuff that was the same. We saw some stuff that was different. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, subscribe to the channel. We do lots of filming locations, theme park videos, and random things from time to time. And until next time, be good, have fun, and learn something.